So today I want to talk to you about the different forms of the Buddha of compassion. It's called Chanresik in Tibetan, uh, but its Sanskrit name is a bit more difficult to pronounce and it actually took me a while. Avalokiteshvara, which literally means he who hears the cries of the world. Did you know that there are many different forms of Chanresik? He appears in different manifestations, so be, he can be of help to many sentient beings. And for example, in this two-armed version, which is usually considered to be the Bodhisattva form. It's a form that you do not see very often, and you're probably much more familiar with the four-armed version, because this is the form that is most commonly used in Tibetan art. There's also an eight-armed version, but this eight-armed version is actually a simplification of the 1,000-armed Chenrezig. The 1,000 arm Chanresik does not have 1,000 arms, as you would expect. It is actually 1,008 arms. And when I made this drawing, oh my god, it, at first it really felt like doing homework. Because la but later on it became a beautiful practice, a beautiful meditation, and it took me a long time to create this drawing. So the many hands are a sign of his enormous compassion, because the more hands that he helps, has, the more he can help other beings. And when we zoom in, you see that in each hand there's a little eye that stands for wisdom. Because compassion and wisdom always need to go hand in hand. If you have a lot of compassion, but your compassionate actions are not done in a wise way, it can lead to disaster even, and the other way around as well. So wisdom and compassion are the two the two things that we need to develop if we want to become a Buddha. So, in one of the ancient sutras, Buddha Shakyamuni told that Chen Rezik had a special relationship with Tibet for many ages. He also said that in the future that he would tame the wild and barbaric Tibetans and lead them on the path to enlightenment. The Buddha also told of how Chen Rezik was miraculously born from a light beam coming from the heart of Amitabha Buddha. Amitabha is the spiritual father of Chenrezig, and that beam of light turned into a radiant lotus in which the four-armed incarnation of Chenrezig came into existence. And Amitabha predicted that in this manifestation he would tame the Tibetans. In the presence of Amitabha, Chenrezig repeated his vow to work ceaselessly for the welfare of all sentient beings, he, his compassionate motivation was so strong that he stated, Until I have alleviated the suffering of all sentient beings, may I never, not even for a moment, give up my purpose to live for others for my own joy and happiness. If I may even think for a split second about my own happiness, may my head then burst into ten pieces and my body into a thousand like the petals of a lotus. After this statement, he stayed in meditation in a state of single points of concentration for a very long time, and he recited the powerful mantra that he directed at every living being in every corner of the world, with the desire for them to be free, to become free of their suffering. And when he eventually emerged from his long and deep meditation and looked out over the land of snow, he was so bitterly disappointed when he realized that he was only able to help a tiny number of beings. The vast majority was still caught up in their illusions as before, and in despair he cried out, What is the point? I cannot do anything for them. Maybe it's just better for me to find my own peace and happiness. And he was still speaking when, by the power of his earlier vow, his head split into ten pieces and his body into a thousand, and it filled the discouraged bodhisattva with an unbearable pain. He cried out to Amitabha, who immediately came forth, looked at him affectionately and told him not to despair. Amitabha restored the broken body and changed the broken pieces into a thousand hands, each with their own eye of wisdom in it. In the same way, he transformed the torn pieces of his head into ten faces, of which nine peaceful ones and one wrathful one. So he could see in all directions at once, and in a loving and powerful manner reach out to all sentient beings. Finally, 
to show how happy he was with his hard son, Amitabha crowned the ten faces with an eleventh face, that of himself. And this is the top face in the picture. And in this way, the eleven-headed and one-thousand-armed Chenrezig took shape. Do you want to learn more about Chenrezig, this beautiful Buddha of compassion? Check out my upcoming lectures and Tanka art classes via the links in the description below.